Hey y'all, this is another Joshi's food review. Uh, today what we're going to be doing, if you've seen my last video, we're going to try BK's new mozzarella sticks. So uh, we're going to see how it is. And, and if you're wondering, because I didn't really explain this in my last video, why is it called Joshi's food review? Well, there's a very easy answer for that. When I was younger and I was outside playing and my great grandma uh, would let us know it's time to eat. She would stand there at the porch and she'd yell, Joshy! Like that. And so that was my key, that big boy, it was time to eat. And so we ran in and uh, whatever she was making that day, chicken and dumplings, potato soup, whatever, man, it was just great. So that's what we're going to do. The videos will get more, um, more, uh, uh, this is going to be one of those standby moments where I'm trying to think of the word. Um, a little bit more technical, I guess you'd say. A little bit more. Uh, here's your second standby moment. Uh, another. Just a little bit more higher depth. We're going to have an intro to our videos. But as of right now, these are just my first two videos. So what we're going to do is I got the uh, mozzarella sticks. And I, I love mozzarella sticks. Love them. I got to say, though, just from a first appearance, I mean, if, if you can see that, I mean, it's it's deep fried, you know, obviously well. It's nice and brown. It's good. It's, you know, going to make my blood pressure go up. So, I mean, it obviously already has some things going for it. Um, but I, there's a place here in Thomasville. Uh, where where we live and they make it's a gas station called Sheets and they have really good mozzarella sticks and so does Arby's Arby's mozzarella sticks are good but BK is trying it so we're going to try it and see what we think I'm going to tell you though it's not very hot I'm hoping there's a lot of cheese in here I'm going to be honest with you I ain't doing a review They don't, I don't even think they have them anymore but those those Cheetos, macaroni things, Burger King, wasn't very good. But let's try this and see what we think. So, they give me four. And one thing I love about restaurant mozzarella sticks is that when you bite into them, now I know this is BK, this ain't some, you know, decent Italian restaurant, but when you bite into it and that mozzarella cheese, man, it's like eating pizza, man, it just strings out. You don't get this with this. It, it's, uh, it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun to eat. It tastes good. Um, I've had a lot better, but on our 10 scale rating, this definitely 10 being Joshy, or excuse me, Joshy. This, uh, my friends, is, man, I'm going to give it a six and a half. I'm going to give it anywhere between a six and a six and a half. It's not bad. It's just, I expected more. And you, I don't know if you can see, but mozzarella sticks are usually a lot thicker. I mean, it's almost like, it looks like those BK uh, BK ten, uh, chicken fries. So I'm not I'm not a big fan of it. Am I going to eat the rest of them? Obviously yes, <laughs> but uh, it's just not what I like in a mozzarella stick. So we're going to give it a six and a half. We're going to give it that point five. It may do something for Burger King, uh, but uh, it's good. It's not bad. A dollar fifty is a great deal for four of them. It's just if you're a uh, if you're a guru of mozzarella sticks, you'll know that this is not the best you've ever had. So it's not bad. We'll keep eating. Not bad. I mean, it's definitely got the cheese flavor. But man, cheese. Don't you just want that cheese to be pulling off inside there? Well, 
BK, I had high hopes. No pun intended. <laughs> um, but I gotta say, six and a half, not bad. Worth a dollar fifty. Absolutely worth a dollar fifty. Would not pay two dollars for them. But that is our review. Thanks, and we'll come with come back with you. But come back with something later on a later date. We will come back later with another Joshie's food reviews.